John's got a sailfish on it. Where's the hole? John's got a great video. Yeah. Yeah. This is the 44 hour special red snapper trip, baby. We weren't expecting this trip to be red snapper, but it is. We're live here at Hubbard's Marina. John Mark coming to you. Oh, a little blue crab there. Oh, that's the lot. That's it. That, is that all? That's the jig. Yeah, I got to keep after it. All right, the water's kind of clear. Look at that. Weird looking to have. Well, so what about it? 44 hour and a red snapper trip. They didn't even tell John that red snapper season would open. Started last week and I didn't even know about it. Imagine <laughs> yeah. that. Uh, so uh, this is John's opener here. Yeah. Soft opener. I heard they've been doing pretty good. Yeah, uh, it's not like the summertime all out red snapper bite, but we're getting some big ones and uh, the weather's so much nicer this time of year. And uh, the, the mango, mango bite's been pretty hot, yeah, right? Yeah, the mango fish is way better than it was during the summertime red snapper season. A few gags starting to pick up too. And even some gags around. Yeah, we've uh, probably been getting 15 or 20 gags a trip and uh, probably do the same here this trip. We've even been getting a few in the middle grounds now too, biting at night. They aren't just out in the deep water. So we'll uh, get some of those throughout the night tonight and uh, picking some red snapper, mostly mangroves. Oh, and we got all night to fish. We might trash the mangroves tonight. I'm hoping to, man. I'm ready. I'm sitting on ready. It's been like two months yeah, for has. me. It has. It's been like less than 24 hours for me. I hear you. <laughs> red snapper do part this. due. Yeah, I am taking Sunday off though. All right, man. Well, I'll check with you. Make this trip. Tennessee. Tennessee. Are y'all together? Are y'all together? Are. All right, man. Cool. Yeah, uh, Tennessee is one of the most beautiful states there is. Tennessee yes, River. Yeah, my brother lived in Nashville. His family's still up there. He passed on, but uh, yeah. Are y'all like Tennessee volunteer fans? Not me. <laughs> you know what they say about the Tennessee shirt? It's the most versatile shirt there is because you can wear it to the football game on Saturday. You can go hunt, hunting with it on Sunday and your day job picking up trash on the side of the road on Monday, never change your shirt. That's right. That's from a gator. Man. <laughs> Good luck. Look at that double tiki bars. You don't see double tiki bars too often. It is absolutely gorgeous out here. The water is crystal clear. You can see the bottom really good. Probably can't on this camera. Most of it. Sorry, sir. All right. You ready to get them? You got your knots ready? Your hooks ready? Yes, this is, this is the perfect snow rig right here. And this is going to be a nice gag. Probably a, maybe a 50 pounder. One of those rusty bellies. Sounds good to I'm me, I'm going man. for it. Well, good luck to you, sir. Well, thank right. you very much. We're about to drop anchor on the first uh, drop here on this 44-hour red snapper extravaganza. There's the birthday boy, John. Happy birthday, sir. Thank you, sir. All right, all right. There's the first horn, which means to anchor the bait. It is absolutely gorgeous out here right now. About a two foot chop. Not really hardly a cloud in the sky. Man to man with a jig head. Let's see what he's got this time. Small one. A small snapper, but a keeper. Okay. Yeah, yeah. He, he was dramatic about it. Got that jig head. See the jig head? A glow in the dark jig head. Look at that. Good job, sir. All right. A little mango bite going here. Don't know if that's what the gentleman has on here or not, but we're going to find out in a minute. Don't pull, don't pull. Looks like a DC fish pulling pretty good. Come on, 
Got color on him. Oh, it's a red grouper. He'd have been a keeper too. Yeah, he would have been. Nice red grouper, but he's got to go back. Yeah. Red grouper are closed at least till the end of the year, I think. Man's on another fish. He's hoping it's not a red grouper. He's hoping it's something he can keep this time. Got color on it. Looks like a mangrove snapper. That's a nice one, sir. Good sorry, job. Sorry. Thank you. Mango's coming up. Borgie's coming up. Icing them down. Try to save me because they brothers. <laughs> I thought they were cousins. Okay. Uh, uh, this is a 20 pounder. 20. He's bigger than that. I say 30. Find the dragon flip. Nah, you're good. He's off the bottom. Okay. Yeah, keep reeling. It's the perfect time to try that first light. Don't hit the man in the head with it again. It, it filled up. Man. It wasn't nothing I could do. I couldn't get away from it. Here we go. All right, get in there, John, and I'll just break it. Come on, grab, grab that sinker. I'll, I'll get the leader. Yeah. Oh, he's smiling. He gone. You did a good job fighting him, sir. Now go to bed. I think you followed me. <laughs> Two men look like they're reeling up back to back red snappers here. One down, let's see what the other one is. I'm betting red snapper. Jerking and jerking. Slow rolling. Steady as she goes. Yes, sir. Fish on the deck. And the color on this one. I see color. Red snapper. Nice red snapper. Nice fat daddy. Yeah, yeah, he's hooked pretty good, yeah. I believe. Oh, he's got my line on. Oh, well. Nice, yeah. nice fish. I took one for the call. Good man, John Martin. Thank you. Good job, sir. so he can pull this in. And I gotta step backward myself. Put him back up. Somewhere took you from me. Watch out, watch out, boys. Pretty big. 
got a sailfish on it breached a couple of times before I could get the video on he's close well he's running again Try to stick it? I don't know. Wow, look at that tip. Oh, yeah. Woohoo! Yeah, he is pretty big. You can keep him, can't you? Yeah. Woo! Yeah. Wow, yeah. 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 Watch it down. Down. Yeah, he's good. Coming up Calm the down. Walk it back up. Back up. <laughs> the mates are right here. <laughs> nice sail. We know where to fish it. <laughs> See if you can. They could mount him based yeah, on the pictures. Yep. Look at him. He's coming around the boat still. He's bigger still. Get the head out of here. Will is icing down the last of the front box here. All in all, a pretty decent trip. We hit the mangoes pretty hard during the night. Quite a few people got their limit. Got a few gags during the night. The first part of the day bite was real good. The mid, probably late morning, early afternoon bite was kind of slow. But towards uh, from about, I'd say five o'clock, four or five o'clock on, it got real good. And we got some really nice gags and big red snapper down the stretch, including a sailfish that uh, I got on video and you'll probably have seen it by the time you watch this portion of the video. Yeah, you will. But it is absolutely gorgeous out here right now. This is pretty much the direction we're heading. So we're gonna be beating into it a little bit. We're about 90 to 95 miles from the dock pretty right decent now. scamp actually so all in all i had a very solid trip no jackpot contenders for me this trip some people like uh well we, we won't say who his initials are will mcclure was actually like rooting against me i think no, no, I was to... <laughs> He's, he was trying to motivate me that's what he said that's his story and he's sticking to it Nah, it's all a lot of fun. We kid each other quite a bit out here. All right, tell us all about it, Will. Well, you summed it up pretty well there, John. It was, a, you know, it never really fired, but it was a decent bite throughout the whole trip. And we had a long time to do it. And uh, ended with a pretty decent spot here at the end and soaked it out a little bit and got a few extra groupers and stuff like that. We're headed home kind of early tonight, but, uh, we're expecting a little weather. We've been hitting weather on the way in, and we're uh, trying to avoid that at all costs tonight. But good fishing this trip, guys, and we'll see you back at the dock. Sounds good.
good, brother. Yes, Take sir. care. I'm gonna video it. What do you got going on there? This is the meal you're living. Look at that. Fo wow. Fogging up the camera here wow. with that port. Looks great. We're gonna unfog the camera now. And we're gonna bring you one of Tammy's delicious meals. Let me unfog the camera. Howdy, how are you? Hope you can see it. All right, here we are. How are you, Tammy? Hey, I'm doing well. I showed them in the pot and fogged up the camera, man. Oh, God. So we got yellow rice, we got roasted pork butt, and black beans. Here it is. Spice it up a little bit. signifying the end to this 44-hour trip. We had a spectacular trip, incredibly wonderful weather, much like it is out here right now. It's like glass here. We had more of a two to three foot chop, more like a two foot overall, perfect fishing conditions. October is a wonderful month in the state of Florida. If you've never been down here during the month of October, you ought to give it a shot. Anyway, we had a very good trip. We uh, got a really solid mango bite during the night. Uh, ended up with probably close to a boat limit. Quite a few people uh, limited out. I know I did. Blessed to do so. Uh, I would think we got close to our red snapper limit. I know I did. I had uh, a real nice um, average, probably over 10 pounds. And I got a couple of gags. There were a number of gags caught, a uh, couple of really nice ones that you'll see back at the dock. We, uh, we got a wahoo on the troll, a uh, couple of big sharks. I had a big one on when they were catching big gags. Of course, I ended up with a big shark. But we even had a sailfish, one of the bigger ones I've ever seen. And I got all of it, I hope, on video. We'll find out shortly. But overall, a very successful trip. One more weekend to go of this extended red snapper season. And I know they've got trips literally leaving out Sunday and Tuesday as well, 39 hour trips, as well as uh, a host of other trips targeted to like 12 hour extreme, those types of things. Check out hubbardsmarina.com for more details. But I'll show us back at the, at the dock here in just a moment. Probably 
pushing 30 pounds or better. Wouldn't you say, Will? I'd say so, yeah. Wahoo, of course. You say, of course, like it happens all the time. Yeah, when you're driving it, surely it does, right? Captain Brian put us on these fish. Big pile and still unloading the box. Y'all got all the barrels up here now? Yes, sir. Right, so one half a box of fish left to go. A tuna and a wahoo. The wahoo was caught on the troll. The tuna was caught while anchored up. And? Oh, and let's forget Cousin <laughs> Bonita. I'm just surprised that Wilson Hubbard didn't name a green fin tuna back in the day. This is your wife's birthday this weekend? Sorry, sorry. yes. What it's day? My wife. So her birthday was Friday. Of course, we were right. going on a 44-hour trip. And, uh, oh, so I'm... you went fishing on her birthday, so but now we're up. seeking credit for taking off a trip after her birthday. Yeah, yeah, it's tough. <laughs> Totally redeem himself. Only a man <laughs> could think that way, man. Yeah. Here comes another Alabama bound red snapper. Nice Five. Here. Eight. 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 Fifty-four. Here's the man that caught that big rusty belly. Gonna win the jackpot here in a few minutes. Ice stringer. Yeah, man. That's a beauty. Lining up for the fish cleaning. We're gonna clean a wahoo. I'm not, but they are. And a beautiful mother-in-law fish. No offense to all the mother-in-laws out there. I mean, that is a championship fish right there. Nice fish, sir. Nice fish, sir. Nice fish, Tony. Yeah, look at right. that. Look at that band. Nice one, sir. I'm going to enjoy it. I'm I bet. Captain Carrot Cake, he's a hell of a fisherman too. Gotta get him off the stringer. Make him fit in the cooler. Nice foundation down there, well, guys. Nothing wrong with that. Oh, good. Coming through, y'all. Coming through, right? Hey, let me grab one. Fish cleaning service. This is the gentleman that you will see on video that caught the sailfish. So tell us all about it. Uh, 
Didn't even realize what I had until it broke the water. When it broke the water, game was on. It was a blast. Yeah. It was great. It was fun filming it. Yes, it was fun catching it. First one ever. I mean. And that was a monster. Yeah. The aquarium down the road. <laughs> Do what? He caught it at the aquarium. The aquarium? Yeah, I, I had it in my pocket. I was there. I I, out here. He's got video proof coming out. <laughs> I had him hid in my pocket. Well, on a boat ride, nonetheless. On a, yeah, right? on a boat ride, a broken boat ride. He did it well. Well, congratulations. Thank you, sir. So I should have asked you where you're from. Tennessee. Tennessee. That's right. I talked to you before yes, the trip sir. started, yes, right? Yes, sir. And what's your name? Jay. Jay Odell. Jay Odell from Tennessee, the great sailfish slayer. You'll have to get a sailfish tattoo now. Yeah. Yeah. Think about it. This your first trip on the boat? Yes, sir. First trip, first trip. and you got the biggest sailfish we've ever seen out here. Nice. All right. Good job. Definitely a great place. Cooler to take, take yeah, I see that. Here's an overflowing cooler. Oh, your fish are stuck in the cooler, man? Yeah. I'm going to have to bust them off the string. You need a bigger cooler. Yeah, I know, right? You uh, you underestimated yourself. <laughs> well, we're talking to the winner, Mr. Dan Jackman, of the uh, Red Snapper. He actually came in second in the grouper. But they don't pay much for that. Right. But uh, you got him on a pinfish, I understand, right? Yeah, nice pinfish. He just couldn't do without it. Couldn't do without it. All right, that's going to do it for the 44-hour trip, except for the most important part, the lovely ladies of Hubbard's Marina. Hi. She keeps it all running here. As I say, no trip would be complete no trip would be complete without the lovely ladies of Hubbard's Marine. They make it all work here. And here's another prime example of the lovely ladies of Hubbard's Marine. Good morning. Hey, good morning.